In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to use sketch techniques, mostly used for 2D technical drawings, in which we'll draw a couple of example parts, drawing sheets, detailing, software configurations, and much more. We'll also learn in this course how to create a 3D part, detailing all dimensions and creating sheet formats. In the future, we'll enter in assemblies, parameterizations, exploded views, lots of cool stuff to see. In this first lesson, let's begin with the introduction to the solid face interface. So, we're just going to look at all solid face environments, where it's located, and all features and tools that we'll find within solid face environments. And we'll start also to draw our first exercise, our first drawing. We're going to start with some basic commands. Right now, the focus will be on 2D drawings ex exercises, drawing the lessons that are in our exercises book, passing through the first until the twelfth exercise. Those are exercises made to practice tools and features for 2D sketches in solid face. And, of course, it is detailing, in the end, defining the tolerances, observations, technical indications, and so on. Well, in today's exercises, we'll be learning the following commands. Line, multiple lines, linear dimensions, and center line. All right? And I'll explain the differences between a parametric and a non-parametric dimension. And what does that mean? And how can solid face show us what is and what isn't a parametric dimension? So, starting with the interface, every time you open solid face, you'll see this window. Here you'll find some tool options that will be located in the left upper part of the window. Then, going from the left to right side, you'll see your first option, this command, open. Then you'll have the new drawing, new part, new assembly, collaboration workspace, help, and check for updates. The open you're going to use when you need to open an existing solid face file, right? So you have already saved some part, some drawing, when you search the file path and open it here. To create a new file, you need to use one of the three environments that are available here. Starting with the new drawing environment that is used for 2D drawings and detailing. Then you're going to use sketch tools to make a drawing. We have the new part that you'll use for 3D modeling and the new assembly where you'll be able to place 3D parts and make assemblies. The collaboration workspace is also a very interesting part of the software, not easily found in other CAD software. With this tool, we'll be able to work in collaboration with other professionals in real time. In other words, I can open my project here, and other designers can open the same project in any other place in the world, and we'll be working in the same part at the same time. And we'll be able to see in real time all the modifications that each user is doing in the project. Of course, you can manage these modifications by giving permission for changes and setting a change as permanent or not in the project. We'll see this a little further on in the course. That's a very interesting tool that you'll learn to use. And moving on, we have the help that will open a textual software tutorial explaining command by command, tool by tool, how to use everything correctly in solid face. That's the famous help that when we're working and a doubt pops out, a specific doubt about a tool or feature, and we can't find any reference, then we press F1 and the tutorial will show up by this help. Well, we also have the check for updates that is used when the software has some updating to do, which is pretty common in CAD softwares. Usually between the release versions released generally at the beginning of the year until the release of the next version, a couple of updates occur in the software. Then by periodically clicking in this tool, the software will be automatically updated. Now guys, let's get started with our first exercise. I'll put a small pick with the solved exercise on the right side of our window as a reference, so we'll know what we have to do. Once you click in the New Drawing option on the Start window, the window that we saw a short time ago will see the environment that is in our window now. Now, you have to pay attention to the two main panels of this environment. The first panel is the Modification panel. The modification panel is used for modifications in already made drawings. So, since we're about to start our first drawing, we've got nothing to do in this panel yet, and we'll learn more about it later. Besides the modification panel, we can find the operation panel that is used to draw itself. There, we have the features line, multiple line, circle, arc, rectangle, polygon, and so on. 
As you can see, I left open at the end in the operation panel the option where the feature Polygon was on. Why did I do that? Because there, there is something like a toolbox. When you click in the index, you can see more options hidden inside. So I did it to show that there's not just one feature here, not only rectangle and polygon, but many features inside the box that we'll learn about later in the course as it goes on. Then, at the start, we're going to focus on this operation panel, where most of the tools we're going to use will be located. Well, guys, before we start our exercise, I open the software because I want to show you how we can change the standard software colors. So, we go to the icon, New Drawing, over here. And then, the Sketch Environment will open. Then, after we open this environment, I already did a custom color configuration, and I'll show you where we can set this dark theme that most people find more comfortable to work on. We go to this little gear and then click here in the color button, opening the color configuration box where we can find in the upper right side the black theme option. I'd already selected this option before, and now I'm going to change the colors of some entities here. So, as you can see, I'm going to change the thin, selecting this blue color here that changes the dimension color. You can choose the color that you prefer. That's a personal choice. I'll change a couple more colors over here. And then we click in Apply This Configuration. Then OK. Well done! We've set a new color configuration for this file. Now, starting the drawing, we'll click the command Multiple Lines and begin to draw our geometry. Let's start from the origin point. We click to start the line. And then, with the mouse, we give the direction the line will follow. We'll bring the line to the horizontal orientation, and then type the dimension value, 10 in this case. And the line will be made with this length. Now, we bring the line to the vertical orientation. Type 10, and the line will be made. Then, line by line, We'll draw all the lines until the middle of the drawing. When we get to the middle line of the drawing with a length of 30, we won't draw a 30 millimeter line, but a 15 millimeter line to draw exactly half the geometry. And later, we'll use the command mirror and duplicate the other half of the drawing. After we click in finish in the upper part of the window, we'll set the dimension positions and confirm its values. We can change its positions to get more organized detailing. In order to do a detailing similar to the image we have here on our right side, we can delete some dimensions to put this information later in another part of the drawing. So I'm going to select the dimensions on the right side of the drawing and put it later on the upper part of the drawing, as shown in the reference image. To do that, we click in the left button of the mouse to open the selection area and select the option Dimensions and Text to select only the dimensions and not the geometries. After the selection, we delete the dimensions. Moving on in the drawing, now we'll start the left side of the geometry, also using the command multiple line, starting from the origin point. For that, we use the O snap point end point to select the end of the existing line by clicking with the right mouse button and selecting the end point. Then we draw the left part of the drawing, just like we did on the right side. Again, when we get to the middle line of the drawing, we do a 15 millimeter length line to draw just half of the drawing geometry. To use the command mirror, first we select the geometry that we'll use in the command. So we left click with the mouse to open the selection area and select the geometry option to select just the lines and not the dimensions. Then we click the mirror command and select the option keep base. Otherwise, by selecting Delete Base, the base selection will be deleted after the mirror operation. Moving on, we select the center point for the command and finish the mirror. After that, we use the command Join Extend to join the middle lines in the center of the drawing. Now, finishing the drawing, we'll use the command center line to mark the symmetry line on the geometry by clicking in the midpoints of the middle lines. See that we have two centerline options, the standard with one single line and the double for whole centers, for example. We'll use the option standard to do the line we need. Now we'll learn how to do a chain dimension, creating several dimensions at the same time. To do that, we use the command point dimension and to select all the points that we want to get a dimension for. Then we go to the settings to select the orientation, vertical or horizontal, we want. 
After that, you click in OK and left-click to position the dimensions. When the alignment of the chain dimension is out, this means that the number's size is too large and we need to resize it. We go to the command General Scale, which is settled with the size 3, 5, and resize it to 2, 5. And notice that now the chain dimension is aligned. Now, we do a couple of dimensions using the command line dimensions, in which we select one or two lines we want to get a dimension for. Click Enter and left-click to position the dimensions. Well, guys, that's it for today. Remember to subscribe, click the notification bell to receive our alerts for our weekly training videos.